في بلاد الخير إمارات الخير نلتقيكم In this great country of the United Arab Emirates we achieve success after success مع آلاف الحكايات سوف نفتح كتب الذكريات ونسمع منهم كل هذا وأكثر في وثائق نجاح معي أنا شادية الحسامي نلتقيكم Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Success Documentary Program today. We would like to welcome Mr. Suhail Bachani. Uh, Mr. Suhail Bachani, we are really happy to have you today with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me be, be here. Thank you. The pleasure is shared. So as a starting, we would like to know more about Mr. Suhail Bachani, uh, your beginnings. How did you start? Let's have a small flashback about your life. Well, the business that uh, I am mostly focusing on right now is not what I started with. When I was in uh, late school, early college, uh, I, I, you know, back then, this was the 90s, yeah. and computers were just becoming very, very popular. So um, I used to go around most of the computer shops in Baldabai, and this is when I was maybe in my late teens. Uh, I used to go to school in the morning, and then in the afternoon, I would go to the computer shops. Buy it was like a hobby for... A it was my uh, passion like wow. hobby and everything put together, right? And then a lot of friends started asking me to do it for them. <laughs> so uh, I was making computers for you friends. You started getting famous uh, that time. Well, <laughs> uh, it was fun for me, you know, yeah, and yes. I'm helping friends and I'm doing what yeah, I yes. like. It was, it was nice, but the problem is I didn't have a company, right? So I'm doing this in my house. Nice. And my father and my mother, they were very nice, but uh, every day they would come home and there were computer parts everywhere. You know, the house <laughs> became like a small warehouse. So, so finally, my father told me that, you know, maybe you can turn this into a business. Yes, and I'm young now. I'm only like, not even, I haven't finished college, but I think about what my dad says. How old you were that uh, exactly? About that 18, time? I think. And my dad was like, you know, maybe you just do this. And if it works out, you can but make a career But do it professionally. Do it, yeah, for, yeah. Do it professionally. Yes. So he forced me to make a company. So. And I started a small shop and uh, that became a good business. Nice, <laughs> nice. So yeah, that's been the main original business of this company, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, and you still have this passion? Well, I still have a passion for making things, yes. but it's not really connected to computers. Uh, oh yes, for something it's else. It's more involved with technology and yes. uh, things like this, which yes. what you see around you now. Yes, yes. Uh, from uh, the passion of computers to uh, farming. Or let's say agriculture, right? Yes. So, uh, what what a big uh, difference? Yeah. What a well, big uh, change? Well, you know, it does sound like that, mm. but once you see the farm, you'll realize that these days farms have become very high tech. There's a lot of technology that goes into farming these days, including artificial intelligence. Yes. Uh, you have the latest in motion sensors, yeah. uh, light controls. So it's really one big computer. It's it's connected. You know? Yeah. yeah it's a computer it has that's doing your food. That's what's mm -hmm, happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the ideas I had was, uh, you know, the, the world is not getting any better, unfortunately, right? Yes. Every day we hear about more and more trouble with global warming and all these things. And I was thinking if my business, how does it help what's going on? Mm. Okay, it's a good business. It's making money, right? Yes. But is it helping the world itself, right? And So you, you want it to be something positive, plus food, exactly. plus making, having, making money, Correct. something which helped the world. You know, to, our is it included in the world go go as uh, going green something like this sort of yeah sort so, of yeah exactly you know but oh. my belief has always been in technology that's been my interest my hobby yeah. my passion right and our company's logo is uh, merlin mm. which is the magician right merlin and mm. the tagline is add a little magic to your life mm -hmm. so the belief has always been that technology is like magic Mm. You know, that's what we're able to do these days, right? Mm. We're able to fly. I mean, look at the yes, world today exactly. compared to what it was 100 exactly. years back. Exactly. And it's a magical world exactly. because of technology. So I strongly believe that we have within technology the power to make the world a much better place. Yes, it doesn't exactly. have to go in the wrong direction. Yes. But how could my business be part of that? Mm. So and there's the whole green revolution going around. Um, you know, there are, there are concerns about food, food security, climate change. And in all these areas, there are, there are places where we found as a company where technology can help. For instance, when it comes to construction. In terms of what? 
Well, uh, the structure we are in right now, this house, mm. uh, this office house, is actually a show house. And yes. it's made out of a new material. Yes, I saw it from outside. Yeah. It's something different. It's got no cement, no steel. Yes. It's made out of a completely new building material, wow. which is a green building material. It's a fiber polymer. Uh, it's very easy to manufacture these. Uh, the carbon footprint when you manufacture is lower than cement and steel. And internally, these homes require a lot less energy. Are they your ideas? Uh, it's actually a partnership with a U.S. company. Yes, perfect. And, uh, you know, combine this with some of the other technologies that we're doing is water production mm. over here, but based on solar. Mm. So it's a very efficient way of producing seawater to mm. drinking water. Wow. So all the farming we do over here is using seawater. So uh, the, the water is, of course, number one. Of course. Without that, you have nothing. For farming, yes. But once we have the water available and we have these structures which are very energy efficient, mm. We are able to combine it and create farms. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the new farms which you'll see now. Yeah. Hi, my name is Anshu. I'm working as farm manager in Merlin Eco Green Technologies. We are located in Sharjah Research Center. And what you're seeing, this is an agro tunnel. It is an indoor cultivation. Here we have aquaponic system. That is, we grow plants plus fish. Here the fish waste is used as nutrients for the plants. The fish release ammonia which is converted to an nitrate and it is taken up by the plants. So it is a recycling process. The uh, plants take up the nutrients and clean up the water and the clean water then get, goes back to the fish tank. So it's a recycling process and it's a sustainable agriculture. They use this form of technology that can work anywhere in the desert, mm. allow you to produce food in any country even if there is no water or soil available. So this can help reduce the problem of food shortages all over the world. Very nice. I love it. Thank you. I love it. Tell us a little more. Uh, you told us uh, like the platform of your business, but we would, we would like more details what you are doing exactly, the, right. the type of agriculture you are doing or the farming, what, what type of vegetables, what type uh, of... Yes, of we would course, like to know course. more about this. Great. Well, see, so water, even though we can produce it using our technology, yes. it's still a very, very precious resource. Of course. And if you do traditional farming, there's a lot of water which is wasted. Mm. Uh, you know, when you just spray it on the soil, it gets evaporated. Mm. So uh, there are forms of agriculture now, like hydroponics, uh, if you're growing fish, it's called aquaculture, where you're able to use less water mm. and you're able to produce more food, more food. in different environments. Uh, what we do over here is a combination. You have hydroponics and you have aquaculture, but you see both have some problems. In hydroponics, you're growing food, vegetables, farming, yes. without uh, any soil. Mm. It's just using water, which nice. is why they call it hydroponics. Thanks. But the problem with hydroponics is, you know, plants need sunshine, mm. they need water, but mm. they need nutrition. Mm. But when you just use water, where does the nutrition come from? You have to add so, it with chemicals. And that is that means the food is not very really natural. It's not natural, it's not organic. Not organic, and yes. the water becomes waste after some time. So what, right? is the, uh, what is the solution? For the solution is, luckily, uh, the, pro the, the same way you solve the problem of aquaculture. Now, aquaculture is when you're growing fish in a farm, mm. not in the sea. Yes. Because in the sea, if you've heard, the fish levels keep decreasing. Mm. And they're saying maybe in 30 years, there won't be any fish in the sea. It's so bad. In, in, thir in 30 years. 30 years. There might be no fish in the sea because of all the bad fishing we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And global warming, so there are problems. The problem with farming in a fish is that the fish obviously produce waste, mm -hmm. right? And that waste spoils the water. So you have to keep changing the water. Cleaning. Cleaning changing the, the water, water, but yeah. it's very difficult. So you just waste the water. Yes. So, so when, you, when you combine hydroponics and aquaculture together, you yeah. get a new form of farming called aquaponics, which mm -hmm. solves the problem of both. So the fish waste goes to the plants and mm. it becomes nutrition for the plants yes, very and the nice. plants purify the water and send it back to the fish so there will be no waste no waste it will be, and it yeah. goes on forever you never have to change it perfect so this is the form of agriculture we do over here now this wow. was discovered actually about 20 25 years back at the university of virgin islands it's very interesting it's it's <laughs> really it's amazing is. and you know it works beautifully yeah you'll see how we have farms over here everything is produced just using the natural waste from the fish yes. and the, the uh, vegetables that grow, they grow very fast. They are full, filled with flavor, they're organic. And you know, you can grow as much as you want. There is no limit. So oh. this country can actually become food uh, independent just oh. by using technologies like this. We oh. don't have to import food anymore. Wow, this is the first time I, can, I hear something interesting and amazing such a way.
It has been around for some time, but yes. it's, you know, it's, it, it takes time. It was coming for slow. Push. Yes, very, you're right. Yes. You're right. It takes yes. a little bit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Really. <laughs> so what about your future plans, your future vision? Well, uh, you know, we've been doing this as a new division within the company, a sustainable division for yeah. about three years now. And uh, the first few years were R&D, just research and understanding how to make it work in this country. Mm, yeah. Now we know that and we have a commercial farm ready. And now what we're doing is we're increasing our capacity of the food that we can produce so we can start supplying to all the supermarkets in the region. But we don't want to stop here because this technology can be used globally. And we want to start these farms all over the world. Of course, yeah. we'll start with the neighboring countries, the Middle East, mm. even the subcontinent. Because of global warming, things are getting difficult even mm. in places like Morocco, mm. all over the world, yeah. in Jordan. So this could really help the region, mm. but we feel it can have a global footprint. Yes, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And of course, where you was having support, what type of support offered you? Well, uh, I was born over here, you know, yes. so it's I, your, it's I, your I've been very country. lucky to live yeah. in a country where things have always been very peaceful. Yes. You know, it's always been pro-business. Uh, you know, you get all the support necessary, which is very difficult for me to feel because I was born here. But I talk to people who have come from other countries. And they tell yeah. me it is so amazing to <laughs> yes, work over here. Yes. So from this but point, we would like a small thank you message from your side to air rulers, of course. Since you're born here, you are the, the son of this country. Well, it's, it's a yes. pleasure, really. And uh, we, we were very, very lucky that uh, a few years back, the ruler of Sharjah, His mm. uh, Highness Dr. Sultan, was here. And, you know, we are such a small company. And we mm. were just not even, you know, small one farm. And for him to come and visit us over wow. here, it was, you know, so good for us. It gave us so much I'm sure he appreciated the idea. It's not about it's how much it's big, good, big or small, but the idea is very, very big and very precious. And see, this is the... This is how they think. This is how we are so lucky in a country yes. where the rulers in all the Emirates. Yeah. If you see in Abu Dhabi, there is a big push towards green uh, farming. Yes. If you see in Dubai, they just started a new agri startup. Mm -hmm. You know, So this whole country, the vision of yes. the rulers is... It's amazing. Really it's very, amazing. I wish them the lucky. best of health and a long life for this country, inshallah. So, and of course, you're in your life. Uh, either professional life or normal life, there were some people who supported you. Maybe you would like to say thank you to, to them today via our program. Well, uh, you know, I told you how my story started. My father was the one who gave me the Yes. Push. So, and of course, uh, always the family at first. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. And then yeah. just after I started the business and it started growing, my brother joined the business. Mm. Now, you know, just doing it alone, it was impossible. <laughs> you know, yes. so with his help, I could turn it into a real business. Yes. And now he's taking care of that part of the business, so I'm free. To do, mm, to do your, things, your, you know, so your, we can make a partnership. Yes. So very lucky, uh, you know. Uh, uh, have to thank God to be given such blessings to be living living in this country, to have the support of family. Parents, and yeah. uh, you know the, the the place we are in right now is called the Sharjah Research Technology Park, mm. and this park supports new businesses. Mm. And uh, the the chairman of the park, you know, he comes over here very often, even if there's a small issue, like maybe one day we have a problem with. Uh, you know, some delivery not coming in or some small issue. We call him up and wow. the problem is solved, you know. So His Excellency Mr. Mahmoudi. This, really, is, called the, this yeah. is called the platform, which Correct. is Correct. they give yes. you the peace of mind to just focus on your business. Exactly. You don't focus on the other small problems. So right. that's in business, you're right. You have so many different things to take yes. care of. If you take care of that also. Uh, it's difficult. It's you just cannot focus on you're your right. on your main Thanks in your business. Uh, Mr. Suhail, thank you so much. I love your idea. I love your passion. I wish you the best of luck in thank the you. next coming uh, f five years, maybe, will, you will be international. And we'll see you also in Morocco. Inshallah. So thank you so I'll much. It was a pleasure yeah. to have you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us today. See you next episode.